We think that there's a way to craft an experience that's way more human, that draws from the history, the building itself, the neighborhood it's situated in, the country that it's situated in. I think the hospitality industry doesn't understand that the reason why people travel is so that they can get something that's different and unexpected. At its core offering, Sonder is a hotel. We're professionalizing the operations. People are getting something that was never available to them before, and they're able to stay in these beautiful homes. What makes Sonder unique is that when we come into a city, we don't want to disrupt the culture. We want to embrace it. We want to become one with it. And looking at the work and the projects that, that Sonder has um, endeavored in in this community, I think it's a good thing. Sonder moves very quickly, and it really speaks to really listening to a city and knowing what its needs are, and then being able to respond to that. We consider ourselves uh, neighborhood developers, community-based developers. All of the markets that we go in are markets that are dear to us. Sonder has been a phenomenal partner. They're a collaborative partner. They're a transparent partner. They're someone that will listen to what your ultimate goals are and try to supplement them alongside theirs. We thought that this was kind of a game changer in terms of what hospitality will become. Things evolve, things change. Sonder is a key tool in that kit of parts that cities should look at to revitalize themselves. Sonder brings immense value to the developer because we stabilize projects much quicker and it's not that we dangle some crazy number in front of them and say, hey, we're going to hit these numbers for you and then we don't. We just commit to a master lease number and we pay them every time, on time, every month and uh, that's the business. One of the glowing examples of that is the Pythian, which you can see from my window here. Sonder was able to, to, to put together a formula to make that work by, by using some of the upper floors. I think Sonder was probably one of the few entities that was able to do that. And they were able to use short-term rental to pull that off. Canal Street is one of the grand boulevards of um, the city of New Orleans. However, over the course of years, it fell in disrepair. And that's kind of where Sonda stepped in. They saw those historic buildings and structures as having value. Uh, they saw the value in bringing them back. We can recreate Canal Street and turn into the Champs-Élysées uh, that, it, that it used to be. The only pathway that, that has worked so far out of all the things we've tried, and we've tried a lot, um, has been the, the Sonder model.